Hi guys, welcome to yet another interesting video from DMARC Advisor. My buddy Sheep over here and myself are going to explain step by step how to get your company logo BIMI ready. Did you try to make a logo according to the BIMI standard but is it not showing in Gmail? Then you should definitely keep watching. Because in this video we'll even address the additional requirements that Google has set that go beyond the BIMI standard. We reveal the things about BIMI SVGs that we had to find out the hard way. So check it out! BIMI works with SVGs or Scalable Vector Graphics. A BIMI SVG logo is more than just an illustration exported as an SVG file. In the background, an SVG is a piece of code that needs some minor modifications. And as easy as this may sound, many people get stuck in the process. That's why we're going to show you how to do that. We begin in Adobe Illustrator, the program most of you are probably familiar with. If not, don't worry, I'll show you what to do. Just follow my lead. I took this cute photo of sheep, which we're going to use for our Bimmy logo. Under it's okay, sheep, you look fine. No, I'm not gonna use mine, I'm in the middle of a video. So anyway, on the right here, you see all the layers this project contains. What we want to make sure is that we use a square, one to one ratio, and a good tip is to try and keep the design as centered as possible. Because there are several possible ways for a logo to appear in the inbox. It could be a square, or a circle, or something in between called a squircle. Sorry buddy, not you. No, not you either. This one, a squircle. Especially in the case of a circle, it potentially leads to parts of your logo unintentionally being cut off. So never fill your design all the way to the edges unless it's really your intention. What I usually do is I temporarily add a circle shape to imitate the effect of an inbox. Anything that falls inside the circle is your safe zone. When it comes to the design, Google wants your image to have a minimum size of 96 by 96 pixels. The rest of their demands apply to the code, so we'll get to that later. Another thing to remember is that text is not vector. Roger, Roger. What's our vector, Victor? If your logo contains any form of text, convert the type layer by creating outlines so that the text now consists of shapes. You might have some layers grouped. If possible, ungroup all layers just to keep it more clean. If you're satisfied with the result, it is time to create the actual SVG file. Now, in Illustrator, you don't want to export the file. You need to select File, Save As in order to get the correct SVG options. Because the good thing about Illustrator is that it gives you this little window. Here, you can easily choose SVG Tiny 1.2. Image Location, Preserve. And Save. Once the file has been properly edited on the outside, it's time to tackle the inside. You do this by crawling into the source code and manually making a number of adjustments. This time, open the file you just made with a text editor, like Notepad, and it should look like this. We need to check a couple of things. The base profile should be TinyPS. Tiny 
Portable Secure, or SVG Tiny PS, is a more secure format of SVG. Perfect for use in BIMI. Illustrator added these X and Y values, but these are not allowed in BIMI. It is safe to remove them. If Illustrator added this extra line of text, we don't need that as well. You should add a title, preferably just the name of the company. You do that by adding title tags as such. The file may also not contain any form of animation and external links, apart from the so-called XML namespaces. That's the ones you usually find up here. According to the BIMI standard, you would now be done. But Google has some additional rules. If there's a width and height mentioned, it can only be in absolute pixels. So it should say 96 here, instead of relative dimensions like 100%. Next thing you want to check is that the view box parameters are not separated by commas, but instead have spaces in between them. It all might sound a little strange and unimportant, but just trust us in this one. Save the file and now you're really done. Your document meets all the requirements to even be accepted by Google. On a side note, not all editing software offers the option to save your file as a tiny PS SVG directly. In that case, you need to export it as a normal SVG and then manually change the version and the base profile. And of course, this file also needs to be checked for the same properties as we mentioned earlier. Keep in mind that it is extremely difficult, if not impossible, to make changes after you apply your logo for a VMC certificate. A VMC is linked to your SVG file. So any changes made afterwards require the application of a new VMC. Well, that's it for now. We hope this video helped you to finally stand out in that crowded inbox. We also have these instructions written down. Follow the links in the description to read about how to make a BIMI SVG file. If this video was useful, please give it a thumbs up. Sheep appreciates that. Don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on new videos. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Ugh, come on, sheep. Don't start again. It's a cute picture.